Hey, Crystal Bearers! Hey, welcome back to more Fall Fantasy Distidia! So, last part, we sh I showed you guys the Warrior of Light, and now, we're gonna do Fall Fantasy II's Ferion. We're gonna do a full match, showing you guys all the ins and outs of Fall Fantasy II's Ferion. He's a tight vanguard. Ferion fights mostly on the ground, but able to, to definitely wield a pro a punably of weapon from a single spot. He uh, as he can chain combos without landing every, every attack, keeping his hits was coming at for full effect. So, Basically, Furion has a bunch of these weapons. He's kind of like Bart, in a sense where he has multiple weapons and like multiple ways of attack. Basically, he's he's kind of like War of Light when it comes to all aroundness, but majority of his good attacks are ground attacks. Like, I, he's not really good at like mid air attacks. He's more of a ground attack. And Final Fantasy II, like the game of Final Fantasy II, was I'll call it an experimental Final Fantasy game because it wasn't like as good. As like some of the, like some of the ones like seven and like nine and like ten, like, they weren't as good as like all some of these, but they, it was still good. Like it was still better than I want to say. I want to say it was a little bit better than the first one, though. Yeah, it was better than the first one, but not as good as like some of the older ones. But the one thing that really like downside, the one that really made Final Fantasy II kind of like, oh, what the fuck? Like ew, the one thing that made it bad was that the way you kind of leveled up your skills and different weaponry and all that. The way you did that. How you got different spells. Like in all of the Final Fantasy games, like in Final Fantasy VII, how do you get Fire Gun or Fire Up? Uh, you have to find the materia. Like, you know, you have to go to a, you have to go to the shops. Maybe the shop has it. If you can't find the shops, maybe do a quest where you can get it from a quest. Or like, you know, you find it randomly in the world. Or like, you know, all stuff. Same thing with, you know, Final Fantasy XIII. If you want to like, learn Fire Gun, Yet you level up a certain skill. Yet you go into a skill tree and like you know unlock that from the skill tree. How you got from the five out of ten? Same thing. Go into the skill tree, unlock it from the skill tree. But in ten and two, it, it was like that. Like you got fire, you got ice, you got they got fire, you got blizzard, you got thunder. But how you level up to thunder or rock, thunder? Yeah, you had to constantly use them. Like the more times that you use the spell, the more it levels up. And that was just shit. God, I was just shit. Cause like, what if I don't like you know? Like, what if I don't want to use a certain spell? Like, what if I don't use fire, like, you know, all that much, and then I'm fighting a boss who's extremely fire weak? You know, if I use this regular level 1 fire, that's not gonna do jack shit. Like, what if I'm fa facing a boss who has very high defensive capabilities, but very low magic defensive capabilities? And, like, you know, the way to beat him is to use magic, yet you didn't unlock, you know, you didn't, like, un like level up your fire to fire aga, or, like, fire aja. So, you just shit out of luck, and that was just awful, like, it was just awful, cause I felt like majority of Final Fantasy 2, for me, like, when I played Final Fantasy 2, the majority of my time spent just farming and just leveling up all the magic. So before I fought the final boss, before I fought the Emperor, like, I had to, like, you know, I basically went around the world, just ran around that area, fighting tedious, tedious, like, enemies, just using magic, just to level up magic, and that was just really, really boring. So here we go, guys. A full match with Ferion. Huh. I'll fight for my friends. Lord of Arms or Vortex of Arms. Oh, wait. Lord of Arms. Yeah, that was good. Cause I know that one. That one was a good linkable ability. That one was a... I think that was an attack that linked to an HP... That was an attack that linked from a normal attack to an HP attack. Well met, well met guys. Let's do this. Who up again? Oh, so we saw Bahamut in the last in the last video. We saw Bahamut. Now let's do Alexander. Uh, the moving holy fortress. Oh, who we got? We got. Okay, so nameless dreamer. That's gonna be Titus. Uh, nameless knight. I wanna say Cecil. Oh yeah, she, it tells you. Okay, yeah. So we find against Tess, Cecil, Warrior of Light, and Titus. I don't know why. One of my friends called him Titus. I don't know why. You won't even see me coming. Well, bet, Titus. You have a grueling struggle ahead of you. Round one, begin. Greetings. I got my, I got Titus. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. The trees in my way. Got him on the ground. ground. Okay, Titus is a very fast character. I have to be careful about Titus. He's a very fast character. No, no, stop. Hold him hard. Oh yeah, remember it was wait. Yeah, there we go. That's a linkable attack. Wait a minute. Yeah, it was like boom, 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 and then loyal arm. Then you can automatically link it to more bombs. Shit. Ah. Oh. Right, come on, Titus. Loyal arm. 
Okay, yeah, and they and they took out as well. So it seems like they took out like a lot of the range for some of the moves. Huh. Alright, I want him again, I want him with the I want him with the brain. Lord of Arms! Oh, there we go. Oh, that's some hefty damage. Oh. Yeah. You, okay, so in order to do different attacks like these, what you do is not a different button. It's just like different me. directional buttons. So say like if I wanna do that move, I press down on X. But if I wanna do before I do that, I just press X without any any direction buttons. If I wanna do this, I press up and X. So really every, really like all your moves are basically you have up to three moves. In the original city, I don't know if it is what it is to here, but in the other city, you had three moves. You had three aerial moves and three Ah fuck! You wanna play Tyson? You wanna play? You, you have can three aerial attack Make moves and three air yeah, yeah, three aerial and three ground. You know, you can shoot up the three. There's like a bunch of them, but like there are only three like good ones that you really really want for your character. So in order to activate them, what you I'll had to do of, was press one. like the press it on your active directional button. Like you press up for like, you know, the first one, you press down for the third one, and then ah oh, fuck Doug, and then you press one. like you don't press anything for the for the second one. That's one thing I like here. Yeah, I see that here, but I don't really see like yeah, I get it's a beta and all, but I don't really see like it doesn't really give you a description of what the moves are. Like, I really hope the main game, what they'll do before you, like, unlock a move, they give you a description of the move, and, like, give you, like, kind of- Ah, oh, fuck! Give you, like, a, like, a cool illustration of what the move is. Alright, Cecil, you want- you want some of this? Yeah! Damn it. He's out of range. Oh, wait, I got a blue weapon! I got you! Time to summon some help. Summon some help. Blood weapon! No! Yeah. All shall know your judgment is infallible! The judgment of Alexander! The movable, unbreakable fortress! <laughs> Show them your judgment! <laughs> oh yeah, the okay, so the very special ability, like it's a blood weapon. Which is kind of yeah, so one thing I don't see in here is like the EX move. That's one thing I hope that okay, I can like understand because like the beta. But I was still like, hopefully, like they would show like some of it, like show some of it. The EX moves were kind of like the ultimate. In order to activate them, I think you had to like charge up the EX meter by like doing a variety of attacks. And then once it's fully charged up, basically, um, I think yeah, in the PS3 version it was LNR. I don't know what it's here. Yeah, I'm pressing LNR here and like yeah, it doesn't have to doesn't show. But basically, yeah, then you go into like sort of like a trance mode. Like, for Furion, it was like Blood Weapon. It's basically Blood Weapon equipped. For other characters, like, you know, like Zidane. Like, like yeah, like Zidane, it was like Trance. For, like, Cloud, it was like Ultimate Weapon equipped. It was like you get, like, you go into like a certain mode. And then, once you're in that mode, what you do is that you have to hit somebody with, an e with a bravery attack. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, like, how much damage. It can do no damage. You just have to land a bravery attack on them. And once you do, you have to make like a button push pop up here. It was basically square. Like basically I'll the same button, one. you have to basically press the you have to do another you have to press the button to do an e another EX attack. And then once that happens, you basically do the ultimate. And that was really like cool. And that's one thing I really loved, because like the ultimate were super one. flashy and super cool. Like they were like, damn! But even so, they you weren't like overpowered as shit. It really depends. Ah no oh, fuck, where was coming for me? Ah shit, nah! Basically, like for for basically like Cloud, how like his like um his like ultimate was Amani Flash. I'll take care of that. And how you like basically you know charge it up because you had to basically mash X, mash, mash O super fast. And depending on how much of the mirror you get filled, depend uh, if you're able to unlock its full potential or you're able to like have a shit move. And I don't really see that here. Like I see me have the ability here. Like yeah, blow up and equip. Blood weapon equipped. But if I do an EX move on somebody. Oh, time's up? Really? Oh, is the time meter on this? Oh! I did not know there was a time meter on this. Oh, shit! Oh, we still won. Da -da -da -da. It seems our worries were unfounded. <laughs> yeah, we're unfounded. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't worried at all. You. May fate unite us once more. Well met. Well met. And Van R in a fight by your side. Nah, nah. Yeah, so Farian, you got a lot of characters. You know how to play him well? I just didn't really like him. I really didn't like to play him all. Like, he was an okay, but he was more of a ground attack. Like, his, he, he wasn't really that good, 
what comes to aerial combat. He was more of a ground combat character. And when it comes to Cydia, that's... I guarantee you, 95% of the battles you're fighting are going to be in the air. Like, I guarantee you, majority of the battles you're going to be fighting are going to be in the air. So, Furion is really only good for close quarters or, like, um, maps that don't have, like, a, that, that much aerial combat. Like, the Phantom Train map was a good Furion map. That was a good map to have Furion on. Because that map, you couldn't really get in the air all that much. It was basically an enclosed area. So, having fear, so playing a Furion on that map was just Mwah! Mucho grande! It was like, you know you're gonna get fucked up, bro. Like, you know you're about to get fucked up by a load of arms and fucking by the blood weapons. Oh! So when we come back, we'll be doing the Onion Knight. I'm gonna show you guys the Onion Knight, who plays a lot differently, because the fact is that uh, he's just one character. He's actually three different characters in one. He, there is the Onion Knight form, the Ninja form, and his mage form, which all play totally differently. They all have their own abilities, they all have their own moves, their own skill sets. It's basically three characters in one, and that's one thing I love about Onion Knight. That he's, depending on who, which Onion Knight you're fighting, makes you change up your strategy super quick. And he can do it on the fly. Like, one night, like, you're hitting Onion Knight, and then you launch him, and then, boosh, he's in mage form. That's what I love. That's one thing I like about Onion Knight. He can change up his tactics on the fly and keep you on your toes. So peace out everyone, don't forget to feed your chocobos, and have a marvelous, spectacular, wonderful day. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, and may the light of the crystals be with you. This celestial what's it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back, when we tried to use it again on someone else. It didn't do a damn thing. You're lost. I can feel it has been